Now we've seen how to do the imaging in 2D and how to use the soft menus. Let's show what we can do with the Doppler. First, let's start with the color Doppler. We enter color by pressing the color button. Now here, it's going to give me an option. Do I want color or do I want color power Doppler or also known as Angio? We'll start with color. First, we get our region of interest box that we can move by scrolling with the trackpad here. You can also use the arrow keys to move it from side to side. If we want to change the size of the box, we click the select key and then use the trackpad to adjust the size. Now here we have our color flow. It's optimized for high flow, medium flow, and low flow, just depending on the speed and the velocity of the color of the blood. PRF changes our pulse repetition frequency scale, as you'll see up above. Invert will flip that color map. This will steer your color box. And on page two, we can do color suppress mode, where we can hide and show the color. And here we have our wall filter for just the general sensitivity. Now we're done with Doppler, we can click on the 2D button to go back to 2D mode. And let's take a look at the PW Doppler. We'll press the Doppler mode and it will give us our gate and our steering angle. We use the trackpad to adjust the position. We can click select to change the angle. And the angle is shown up here. We can also steer the hole by clicking on this soft key here, showing the angle. We can also increase or decrease the gate size and also change that angle as well. To go into spectral Doppler, we'll click the update key. And here we have our spectral Doppler. And again, like color, we have here for our scale. Change our scale adjust the baseline, invert the Doppler signal, change our volume, wall filter, sensitivity, speed, and here we have our trace. And If we freeze the image, we can adjust our Cine, we can scroll our Cine by using the gain control. We can also adjust the angle. Now, if I was in a setting where it had a carotid, this probe does not do a carotid, or something where there would be a blood flow measurement, it would pull up calculations that would allow me to do an auto trace of that Doppler line.